Hillary Clinton testifying at the Benghazi House hearings yesterday. How did she do? Appearing before a House or Senate committee investigating you is never an easy task. It's complicated even more if you happen to be running for president and the opposing party is controlling the investigation. So given that, how did Hillary Clinton do? Now, for many people, giving testimony in front of a hearing is the hardest type of speech or presentation. You are speaking. It's a type of presentation. It's not just can you be articulate, be confident, appear relaxed, answer questions well, get your point across. You also have to make sure that nothing you say, even if it's, as in the case of yesterday, an 11-hour testimony, that you don't even give your opponents five seconds to pull in a soundbite to make you look bad, stupid, evil, incompetent. Now, I would give Hillary Clinton low marks the last time she did this because she had this remark saying, at this point, what difference does it make? If you saw the whole testimony, what she said made sense, but when you pulled that quote out of context, it made her look uncaring the previous time she testified. This time, I think she was perfect throughout in the sense that she didn't give her opponents any ammunition. Now, I understand. Some of you, if you already hate Hillary, you see her on TV for a second and you're convinced she just lost the election and lost another million votes. Not quite that way. Here's the basic dynamic. Of course, there are going to be Democratic, liberal, activist, media types, no matter what happened, would say Hillary did a great job. They're going to be conservative, activist, Republican activists who say no matter what happened, she destroyed herself, humiliated herself. You can't look at those. What I look for are sort of the moderate independent voices. By my estimation, all of those people thought that Hillary came out ahead and the Republicans looked bad in the hearings yesterday. Even more significant, there were a number of prominent conservatives, like John Podhoretz, of the New York Post, no Hillary flan, fan, who said basically the Republicans should just go up and swear Hillary in as president now. They, just, they humiliated themselves and they made Hillary look so good. By, by my estimation, there were about 10% of prominent conservative Republican activists who think that Hillary won this and the Republicans looked horrible. Uh, there certainly was not any equivalent on the liberal or democratic side who thought that Hillary lost this. Now, judge for yourself. I'm including below a link to some of the highlights of the hearing, and you can see for yourself. Again, if you already hate Hillary and the mere sight of her makes you ill, this isn't going to change your mind. But if you're trying to look at it objectively, she comes across not annoyed, not angry, not upset, uh, not contemptuous of anyone. And she comes across very even keel. I think she did the absolute best she possibly could have. I'm going to give her an A plus for her efforts. What do you think? Again, I'm not trying to turn this into some partisan hack playground. I don't really want to know your thoughts in general of Hillary and Democrats or Republicans. I just want to know on her performance, what did you think about how she did in the hearings? Please post your comments in this YouTube channel or on my Facebook page or any place else that you can put your comments. I'd like to hear from you. Beyond that, if you have questions about how to testify in front of Congress, court hearings, other places, post your comments here. I mean, that is one of the things clients hire me to do, their, their congressional testimonies to coach them and rehearse them, although Hillary's not a client. Finally, if you want to improve your own presentation skills, if you go to my website, mediatrainingworldwide.com, I'll give you access to a free online presentation training course. All you have to do is go to mediatrainingworldwide.com and I'll send you that course at no charge.